Hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the Moses 8 Second Gaming, and in today's video we are going to be talking about the 4 best legends that you are going to be wanting to main right now. They're good legends that will help you finish off this ranked season strong, but they're also probably going to be good going into next season as well, because previous patterns they have not really changed. But if you guys are looking to take your Apex guild to the next level, then you need to check out the Game Leap website right now. Over there we have top level coaches, including myself, creating the best, most highly informative guides. Doesn't matter what you struggle with Apex, because we have legend guides, positioning guides, gun guides, aim guides, VOD reviews, mentality guides, literally everything you need. So click the link in the description, pick yourself up a membership and start to improve today. But okay, let's hop into things. And I do want to break one thing down very quickly. These legends are my choice because of the way that they function in the game. It doesn't matter if you're a three stack, a duo, or even a solo queue player, they are going to work well for you. And for the most part, they are going to work in every single play style. So it doesn't matter if you're playing zone, edge, or hybrid, they will be able to fit into the that and do nicely. I'm trying not to alienate one group of people just because you can't find a three stack, so don't worry, these will still work for everyone. But with that covered, let's actually hop into the legends now and start off with the entry fragger. Now the entry fragging role is very difficult, because you do have to be solo for a portion of the time in the fight. It can get stressful, it can get a little bit out of hand at some points, so you need a legend with that get out of jail free card to help you in those situations. And when it comes to that, there's no better pick than Wraith. Wraith has always been a staple pick in Apex because of how strong her kit is. Did her phase used to be a lot better? Yes, but that doesn't mean her phase now is not good. It's not as fast, so you just have to play around to cover a little bit more, but it still is a get out of jail free card. When you're in her phase, you are invulnerable and you can get back to your team for free. This allows you to play extremely split in a lot of different situations, and it allows you to do things that no other legend can do. And when it comes to the entry fragger role, you really need to have that go Going on. And when it comes to full on team mobility, I don't think there's a better pick than Wraith. An argument could be made for Valkyrie, but right now I don't think that Valkyrie is as useful because of the introduction of the evac towers. But Wraith is really strong in a lot of different situations, including endgame where Valkyrie really falls off. When it's the last couple circles, you are not popping a Valk alt, but you know what you can do? Pop a Wraith portal. And it has a lot of different uses. You can be offensive, you can be defensive, you can have traps with it, you can play with people's minds, you can block doors, it's really cool. And Wraith is super flexible when it comes to her playstyle. You can be the highly aggressive entry fragger where you're running up into people's faces, or you can be a little bit more of a trickster entry fragger and take really aggressive off angles to get the attention off your team. She does it all and she does it really well. So she is my go-to entry fragger. But with that covered, let's move into the secondary fragger and this is going to be Horizon. Now with Horizon, I am going to say this really quickly. When it comes to playing more circle focus where you're playing like really hard zone, she is not as strong as some other characters could be. But her ability to control fights is what I'm really looking at here. Because when you're playing zone with a character that does not do well in zone, you're really only worried about the mid game. The early game, you're still strong. The end game, you're still strong. The mid game is where it gets a little iffy. But right now, not a lot of fights go down in the mid game if you know what you're really looking for. If you've already rotated, you've already picked a spot, you're probably not going to be getting into a ton of fights in mid game. So Horizon doesn't really fall off as hard as other seasons. But once you do get her to that end game and you can get that really fat horizon ultimate off then she absolutely pops off and if you guys are rotating and happen to get into a fight horizon easily can win that fight on her own right now she's still really strong she's in a really good spot her gravity lift isn't as good as it used to be but she's still in a pretty solid area in terms of her power level and she does offer some pretty cool team mobility in terms of vertical heights if you want to take something like the top of thermal station you can easily get up there with horizon and in some endgame circles if there's something like a bangalore alt or a gibraltar alt or something like that you can just use Horizon's gravity lift to get out of it and keep your team safe for the time being. Right now, a lot of fights are how much team utility do you have at your disposal. And not only does Horizon have a decent amount with her tactical and her ultimate being very good, but she also takes resources away from the enemy team. If you want to get out of a Horizon ultimate, you're either going to have to turn your attention onto that and spray a full clip into it, or you're going to have to blow an ability to get out of it yourself and now you don't have that ability to fight with. In terms of straight up fighting, there's not very many legends that can match Horizon, so that's why she's my secondary fragment. Pick. But now we can move into the backline, the anchor, the rock, the support. 
And people that have been watching this channel for a while now probably know who I'm going to be saying because I've been preaching it a lot, but come on guys, it's Newcastle. Newcastle is still an extremely strong character. He has so much potential in his kit, it is not even funny. With the amount of plays that you can make with everything that he has at his disposal, you can make people question whether or not they should be loading into another game because of what you just did to them. And I know some people say, well, I don't like to play Newcastle because he isn't as fun as other legends. But trust me guys, when I say this, learn his kit, learn some tricks, play him a little bit, really get to know him, and you will start to have a ton of fun. Because Newcastle can do what no other support can do. He can play solo. Usually supports do kind of lack a movement ability to help them get in and out of fights. So if they get singled out in a fight, they have no way to get out, and that's what kind of leads to their downfall. If you take a look at somebody like a lifeline, she has no mobility to help her get out. Somebody like Watson, sure, she has her fences to try to slow people down, but if they're not working, she's on her own. But Newcastle has his ultimate where he can jump to people. So you can play super split from your team, taking really aggressive off angles, lure the enemy team into a false sense of security, and then jump back to your team where you're perfectly safe and now they're out of position. You basically just bamboozled the enemy, and not in the lame mirage way, but more of a useful, actually good for your team way. And because of how death ball fights are right now, he's actually extremely good at cutting those death balls up because his tactical is really good in those situations when you can move it around, you actually start to learn how to use it during fights. If someone's pushing your left side, someone's pushing your right side, you can spin your tactical to cut the person off on the left and fight the one on the right in a 1v1 for a short period of time. And that period of time can be enough to win the 1v2. I'm gonna keep preaching Newcastle until people actually finally realize it and then respawn nerfs them, but seriously guys, pick up Newcastle, he's great. Now some of the smarty pants that are watching this video might be saying, well, you just covered all three roles and you said that there are four best legends to main, so what are you gonna be talking about now? And it's essentially just a bonus legend, because this legend does actually fit into two different roles depending on the way that you play them. They can be a secondary fragger or they can be a support, and this of course is Loba. Loba right now is in a little bit of an interesting spot. She is technically classified as a support character, you can play her in the support role, though she is better in the secondary fragger position. Over the last little bit, her role actually has been kind of shifting. Now, she is a powerhouse pick in terms of the meta right now. It doesn't matter what your team is looking to do, she slots in perfectly. If you want to be highly aggressive, cool, she helps you get loot to be super aggressive and then finish fights really quickly. If you want to play in the middle of zone, cool, she can play in the middle of zone. You want to get into poke battles, she's getting you ammo to keep you firing. You're taking a little bit of damage in those poke battles, cool, she's getting you heals without having any risk of going to get them. Once the circle gets smaller and people start dying around you, you want better armor, you got better armor. You want better attachments, you just stole it from somebody that actually worked for it. And the main reason that I like Loba so much is because of the flexibility that she does offer you. Like Wraith, she can take extreme off angles because she can just bracelet back to safety if need be, but she can also be extremely defensive and help your team really bunker down. And especially if you are solo queuing, she just fits into literally every single team comp. It doesn't matter what they're running, Loba does work with pretty much every other legend. She's just ridiculously strong right now and that's why I love her, but let me know your favorite legend to main in the comments down below and if you guys want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Apex Legends tips, tricks, and news, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button. Thank you all for watching once again, amazing game, and I'll see you guys in the next one.